What's up guys, Mike Mike, Phony, FTL, Day, and uh, <laughs> we're gonna be picking up where we left off last time. Uh, exactly where we left off last time, I'm gonna click continue here. Uh, I hate, I hate loading, con hating continue and then jumping in and immediately saying that, uh, <laughs> the alarms are going off and everything's like, woo, woo, woo. it's like, damn it. Um, but, uh, the, uh, so first of all, you guys all know that it's been, it's been pretty hectic around here lately, right? Um, uh, with the baby and everything. So I, I my plan was this, I wanted to like, <laughs> I wanted to record an episode, like last week's episode, I recorded it, right? And I, what I wanted to do, or not, uh, Monday's episode, um, I wanted to get in here, get in some time in between that episode and this one, um, wait, a passenger, what? Let's see, surprise me, off-world or passenger, you know, momentarily, she refuses to enter the main hold and prefers to wait in the cargo bay. What? Oh, damn, okay, uh, let's see... I'm gonna go ahead and I guess I'll accept it. Uh, and then not try not to lose my uh, my train of thought. Okay, so she's not gonna help me out for anything. So that's 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 great. Thank you very much. Uh, anyways, the, I was gonna I was gonna try to actually get some time in, uh, like make a copy of my save and then go and like play a bunch of times, kind of get get back into the, the groove of playing things. Because while I was playing in the hospital, I was doing amazing, right? I mean, I, I beat it on easy and all that stuff, which apparently is is it's still pretty difficult. Um, eventually, I'll get to the point where I'm beating it on normal. Uh, oh crap, uh, and. You know, what I should have done is actually gone through and uh, actually reviewed everything that I have here. But anyways, um, I was gonna, you know, come back and be like, boom, oh, master, this and that, whatever, and apparently that's not gonna happen. So, we're literally following up right off the last ones. You guys get to basically see me develop and grow. <laughs> A rookie cargo ship has taken its orders too literally and took the most direct route to their destination right through an asteroid field. They're confused and fire wildly as you jump in. Pause, okay, let me go ahead and take a look at what I have here. Anti-personnel, system repair, system repair. Uh, they don't have a teleporter. So, I guess we can just throw money at, uh, or money. <laughs> we can just throw power to stuff that's awesome, not enough power. Oh, okay, okay, that's right. All right, no problem. So let's go ahead and, uh, now one of the problems that I had last time was, <laughs> I follow your guys' instructions uh, to the to a T a little too much sometimes. Um, I, I like getting the tips from, from YouTube, I think it's great. Uh, helps me kind of develop a little bit quicker than I think than some because if, if, you, if you think about it outside of the gap in between uh, The last few episodes where I explained where I was in the hospital playing and everything You're literally watching me play game after game and it's only because you know it's been kind of crazy around here lately uh, So my development may seem slow to you guys But if, if you kind of uh, look at it from a more linear perspective in terms of like time and everything It's really I think it's kind of on par <laughs> uh, So let's go ahead and um yeah, so one thing that's, I think I had this down while I was in. Yeah, okay, so first, let's go ahead and go for the shields. Um, obviously, my my heavy laser will bypass that quite easily, so let's go ahead and keep that down. Um, actually, you know what I should do? Oh, he needs permission. We shut that down, and then I could follow up with it. Come on. Wow, that thing's falling apart. I'm just gonna leave it on heavy, on uh, auto. They're not gonna get anything done. The damn asteroid's doing all the work for me. Hit auto fire after my ion had fired. Um, one thing I like to see though is, oops, damn it, damn it, damn it, go back, quick. Uh, let's see, drone parts, fuel, don't need any of that stuff. See ya. Get in the repair. And there's a fire, there's a fire, there's a fire, there's a fire. Come on guys, get it up, get it up, get it up. Uh, lots of scrap, nice. Obviously the benefit of having, um, of playing on normal is that it's just super easy. We need to get out of here soon. There we go, gentlemen, thank you very much. Just go ahead and get out of here before we get slammed again. Ugh. Anyways, I'd like to see a way to control the auto fire on a per uh, item basis. So like the ion, for example, like I'd want to focus the ion on something. Um, Intruder detected. This is where we're gonna go ahead and actually take that off and then turn that on. And uh, why not? We'll give them some. Oh, uh, we'll take. We can actually take some of that. We'll just take all of it. F it. Uh, on up system power. Oh, for that particular system. Okay. Uh, I like to be able to have an auto fire for each individual weapon because I, I want to fire the high heavy ion, uh, auto fire. And then be able to shoot the heavy laser whenever like the shields go down. It's like, doesn't that make sense? It's like as soon as the shields go down, boom! I just I could just nail it. Um, have I? Oh, the blast doors are indeed on. Okay, so I don't know where they're at right now. 
But let me go ahead and uh, do a quick, a quick. Okay, they're in there. Good. Good. And my anti personnel is actually already heading that direction. Sweet. Let's let let's let the anti personnel do its thing. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and bring out, bring around uh, my rock. It's gonna go in there. Uh, give them their help. Give them their help. Oh, solar flare. This is gonna start a fire. There it is. Okay, and the fire's in uh, in there. Okay, not bad. I'm guessing the drones don't need air, so I'm not too worried about them passing out. Okay, Rock, go ahead and go get healed up. And we'll swap these guys out now. Okay. Oh, the system repair is actually not gonna do anything down there. Sweet. Okay, we need to get out of here. Oh, damn it! Oh! Why did why did only one go in there? I thought I selected them both! Oh, son of a balls. Okay, then you're gonna die. And my thankfully that's gonna heal. Okay, that's fine. Okay, you know what? My original technique of just opening all the doors and just letting these dicks starve is easily the best technique. So I'm just gonna do that. We're gonna leave this stuff intact. Go ahead and come join me in the med bay soon as whenever you're ready. Oops, go ahead and get that gone. Whenever you guys are ready. Here they come. I'm going to close that door behind them. Oh, they're dead. Okay, good. Get, no, get out! Get out quick! <laughs> I got nailed right as I was jumping. Okay, do I have fires everywhere? Oh, hey, look, I can replace uh, Beefy, or uh, who, who died? Uh, Beefy, okay, so it was one of the other guys. One of the guys, who cares, <laughs> that we don't care about. Oh, uh, crap, what kind of stuff do I have to sell? I have another heavy laser. I have a defense and I have anti-personnel. Hmm. I mean, I should just sell, I mean, God, the defense one's so nice. Yeah, I'm gonna keep the defense. That was my, that was the, uh, that was part of my success the last time that I, uh, I played. Might be on normal. Uh, I'll go ahead and get rid of the anti-personnel stop getting so many people on board. Um, I would love to have a second heavy laser because of this, their, their shield penetrating. Uh, oh wait, no, heavy laser. Oh no, this is not a multi-fire? Heavy, oh, I don't know, but, damn it. See, this is why I need to play more often. I'll get rid of that one. I'll keep my one heavy laser, how's that? And of course my defense drone. Um, yeah, yeah I need that. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and actually repair our, our uh, current issues. Uh, get this stuff straight. And we'll get people back to the, uh, nobody's starving out, okay, good. Hey. Trey, what do you, uh, okay. Of course, my system repair drone is, uh, that's, my system repair drone, drone can't do anything because it's disabled, so we'll get him up and running. Okay, so all that stuff seems to be online. Now, back to the store. I am so close to getting a cloaking device. I don't know, I've actually never gotten a cloaking device, I'm kind of curious on what the, um, what the benefits are. I mean, besides the obvious, right, you're cloaked, <laughs> uh, but how, how beneficial it is. And the crew teleporter? I don't know. I am just not sold on the teleporting thing. Like, people tell me, oh yeah, try teleporting, it's amazing, blah blah blah, go and take out the ship. But, uh, I almost want to just... <sighs> hmm. This guy's awesome. This is that power guy, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Zoltan. He's, he might come in handy. Uh, let's go and check these guys real quick. This stuff in order. While I think, let me think for a moment. Okay, good. And we're gonna go ahead and put in uh, as soon as that one's done. Okay, good. You can do all the work. Rock guy, you go back. Hmm. Cloaking just sounds so nice. Adding 60 to your evasion, preventing enemy ship from locking on with their weapons. Uh, I remember initially, I went the, the defensive route. I mean, look at my shields and my engines and everything. So I'm, I'm wondering if I should continue going on down that route and just maybe go farm up like a quick, uh, was it eight? Can I sell something? <laughs> no. All right. I could sell one of my system repairs. Hey, who needs two of them, right? <laughs> oh, I am going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, there. I do feel I'm, I'm fine with this though. 
I don't mind. <laughs> uh, let's see. Temporary cloaking strip halting enemy weapon. Okay. Uh, is that as an auto? Oh, nice. And it lasts for about a few seconds. I like that. I like that. And then I can upgrade it. Very, very cool. Now, <laughs> someone's gonna be like, why'd you get rid of this repair drone? Sorry. <laughs> uh, oh, another store is right next door. Uh, crap. Well, let's go ahead and uh, we'll jump here and then we could probably double back and get into that store to pick up some, maybe some hull repairs or something. Who knows? Uh, trade fuel nine for missiles three. Actually, that's a good deal. Unfortunately, though, that kind of uses up my one good jump to, uh, to double back and get anything useful out of that, uh, store. Uh oh, and I left my... Let's see, okay, uh, the ship's turning circle prov uh, proves too wide. Let's see, missile weapon attempt a control detonation using a missile, oh yeah. After drawing straws, a crew member goes out to fix a modified warhead of the mine. You detonate a missile in a way that dislodges the mine. It blows up shortly after the ship takes some damage, uh, but you're still sailing. 18 scrap. I don't think that was worth it. And actually, what happens if I man this particular... Can you man it? No, it's not a melt. I should just look down here, right? Um, wait for that to get powered up. Okay. And then... I do need... Yeah, I'm definitely not going to be able to jump back. I should get to that quest, though. But I do want to put one more power in for my heavy laser. There we go. Feel better now. And then I can take that out and put it into... Oh, damn it! Miscalculation. I, for some reason, I thought I could, like, take one out of this stupid thing and put it over here, but I guess not. Uh, it's alright. One, two, quest! And see, naturally, we're like, okay, good, 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 good. Okay. Now, first time playing with the uh, the cloak. Kind of curious how that works out. But let's go ahead and uh, do that first, and then I'll go ahead and lock the auto fire on the the heavy lasers that come afterwards. So we'll do that right afterwards, right after it. With. There we go. Weapons down. Let's go ahead and try this out. Ooh. I can still fire from a cloaked position. I do like that. The cooldown sucks. But, I, you know, obviously I could dump some points into that later on. I should probably attack something else. Nah, eh, whatever. They're done. All right. What I do want, what I really, really want, uh, so, so tell me what you want, what you really want. Uh, what I want is uh, uh, one more power bar so I could have, the, the goal was to uh, be able to have the, add the one power for the heavy laser and have two left over for the defense, but I miscalculated because that was in there. So let's go ahead and uh, go to add one power bar. That way I can have a defense drone running uh, whenever I need. And eventually I'll be able to have the breach missile going at the same time, hey. Oh crap. More hull damage. Poor blast deflecting your shield. There's no asteroid incoming pirate. Alright. So this is gonna be yeah, no, strike your ship. Nice. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um same deal as before. Uh first heavy ion. I mean the ships are obviously fairly easy. I don't even know if I need the ion for some of this stuff. Come on, ion, go! I love the stealth thing. I really want to upgrade that. I'm certain that later on that's going to come in really handy. Let's fire on something else. And bam! The the asteroids are actually helping me out more than uh, <laughs> more than anything else. Beautiful. Lots of scrap. God, playing on normal is just amazing. All right, quest time. A vast hull network near the surface of Numa 5 indicates an advanced rock civilization. It's supposed to be where you were asked to deliver the passenger. <sighs> da, 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 da. Hmm. Realizing arrival is imminent, the passenger sounds so far pleads with you not to hand her over. She's interrupted by the Grand 
Basilisk's chief aide to the alien vessel holding the Basilisk's wife. Deliver to us. You will be rewarded. Well, hmm. Uh, what if I don't? <laughs> uh, uh, okay, let's see what happens. I was led to believe your kind did not know mercy. I will join you, but quickly we must jump away. They will not tolerate. Oh, th that's what they. That's why I have. To go they should just show me that first. That's their ship. <laughs> Oops, I shouldn't have activated that so early. Uh, it's it's like, bitch, please. That's their ship, really? No problem. Oh, I gotta. That's the. Oh, it's literally a rock bride. Like it's, their females are not very, not very dainty. At all. Let's go ahead and put her on something. Although I do enjoy, I do like having two rocks. That's great. And this is it. Yep. Now it's just a walloping. Easy, easy. What's her name? Ariadne. Ariadne. See, I get a, I get a person and I get scrap. Psh, soul, this is great. I was hoping that I'd actually get a ship or something. That would've been pretty awesome. I'd been quite pleased with that, actually. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, nice. Now I wonder if there's gonna be some kind of internal strife on the on the crew ch on the cruise ship. I mean, I don't know if how many of these guys on my team. Like, I don't know if Beefy is really into uh, giant rock women, but he might be. You know, you never know. I mean, you know, YouTube comment or something like that. We kind of assume that they're into some weird stuff, and you know, all that's so, uh, so you know, maybe Beefy's into that kind of thing. Who knows? Uh, nothing happening here. And we're gonna go ahead and make a jump here, and I'll deal with a rebel scout if I come across one uh, on the jump back to exit the sector. Uh, you find disabled rock transport, you consider stripping it? Yeah, I'm gonna strip it. Yeah. Psh. Click here for scrap. Alright. <clears throat> oh, really? Quiet? Nice. Uh, drone parts? No, I don't need that. Thank you, though. Let's see. Zoltan Homeworlds. Let's go there. You've entered Zoltan territory. The species is not renowned uh, for given, not renowned for giving anything for nothing, but you can always be assured a fair hearing. Nice. Uh, what is the? Okay, okay, nothing good. Nothing, nothing fantastic that's gonna like actually slow me down too much. Uh, see, I have two back back positions. This one will actually be better for them than the other. I'm excited to be playing again, guys. <laughs> With the sensors down, you spend a good deal of time staring at the window, but nothing's happening. Oh, and a store. <sighs> Can I make this jump and then get back before the Rebel Fleet shows up? Ooh, yeah, I should try that. I mean, I'm staying in the nebula, so hopefully it's actually... Oh. Oh. Ooh, cloaking adds new awesome stuff. Nice. Station is a storage site for various you salvage everything possible. <sighs> that was that was perfect, actually. And as a matter of fact, I might even be able... No, no, I'm not gonna risk it. Let's just go back. Uh, another crew teleporter. They really want me to have this crew teleporter, don't they? Sensors. <laughs> Something I don't have. Did I pick up anything good? Okay. Uh, I should probably fix the hole right now. <laughs> Do you hear the tone of my voice? That's like, eh, but I could throw money at other things. <laughs> That's what that was. Uh, I will throw a few at it. I have plenty of, of uh, resources otherwise. Um, having... I feel like having the sensors and having the crew teleporter are kind of synonymous with each other, so I would have to have both in order to be uh, effective because I can't view the inside of the other player's ship, right? So uh, let me go ahead and um, and see. Oh yeah, I'll throw a couple in here. And maybe I want to actually put more power and stuff into other systems just to get... No, you know what? Uh, I don't have the Zoltan cruiser, and I'm in a Zoltan area. I know that... I know... Hmm. I know that there are certain things that require scrap uh, in order to... Alright, well here's a long story short. I'm gonna skip, and I'm gonna, and, and I'm just gonna keep moving. 
because uh, there's nothing at the store here that's really going to do anything for me. But I'm not going to spend any scrap on anything because I know that for some of the ships, for, to unlock some of the ships, you have to have like an upgraded med bay and all that. So I don't want to be caught with no scrap to be able to respond to something fast enough in order to uh, to make the changes necessary. Granted, once I get into the actual encounter, there's probably no chance of me actually pulling that off anyways because I'll be locked into an encounter. But it's, uh, you know, it's worth a try. Now, uh, let's see, heavy ion, I'm going to throw this at uh, here. Actually, it hits the shields first, so I guess it doesn't really matter if it penetrates the shields immediately. So we'll do that. And then we'll cloak before they can fire. God, cloaking is amazing. I really want to dump a lot of points in the cloak. Oh, miss. <laughs> How long is that going to stay down for? I disable the pilot. No fire on board, nothing yet. We're still good, we're still good. Get this scissor repair guy going. And you can go put out that fire, because you're fireproof. Keep that down. And then we will stable the shields permanently for this next one. Oh, damn. Whiff. Ay, ay, ay. Just annoying. Yeah. I should take the, uh, I actually should take. <laughs> did, did my, did my stealth right there just dodge that? <laughs> At what point does it actually calculate if it's hit or not? Because that was awesome. Come on, that was awesome. All right. It's trying to escape. Well, one more shot, it's done anyway, so. Go, 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 go. Oh my god, whiff. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Come on. Take the shot. Thank you. I would have been thoroughly pissed if uh, they had gotten away right there. And here comes the rebel fleets. So, let's go ahead and start bouncing around here. Can I get over here? Yeah, I can. Fleet one. God, there's so many I can just make sweep through some of these really quickly. Yeah, okay. So many, it's just a confined area. Uh, there are a few more zealous uh, in their customs checks than the Zoltan. Uh, team of border police, them on board. A uh, border police beam on board, sorry. Uh, there's just a little confusion over your weapons licenses, but things escalate rapidly from a heated discussion to gunfire. Okay, so they're on board. Go ahead and get that guy going, even though I have some rocks. I don't think it's really. Oh, they're in here. Sweet. Oh, they're in here now. Sweet. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them in there, actually. I think I need to go ahead and retreat to, uh, yeah, I do. Okay. Too risky to not. So we are. Make sense? Actually, we'll put the rocks in there. There we go. Is my anti-personnel drone just tearing them up? Holy crap! Really? No. Okay, well then. I'm sorry I doubted you. Uh-oh. Hold on a second. I guess I still have a I still have a fight to do, so. <laughs> I was so concerned with what was going on board and I'm just uh, astonished that I was actually able to pull off the uh, uh with just the anti-personnel drone. Holy crap. A little taken aback. Sorry, sirs. Get through that shield. There we go. Okay. Let's get people back to their stations. Uh, Treyu, where were you at, actually? Let's go ahead and stealth for a minute. Give me a minute. Treyu, you were a weapon system. Yeah, wow. It's my... Anti-personnel dude needs a raise or something. Whiff, of course whiff. The shield's gonna be up before I can get another ion blast off. Oh, maybe not. Let's get the cockpit there. Beautiful. Now let's get back to the shields. Of course, having the shield, having the cockpit disabled while the shield's up is really 
kind of, you know, fruitless. Weapons are not coming up anytime soon. My drone is just fantastic. That guy, holy crap. Anti-personnel drone of the year. I don't even know why I have all these, these rock people on board. I was prepared for a fight. Okay, ship explodes, leaving material behind, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so what's going on down here? I noticed this popped up. Uh... Oh, his piloting has been uh, maxed. Oh, is that what that little that that uh, notation was? Okay. Oh. Well then, and I put these in the right spot, right? Uh, engines. Okay, wait, hold on a second. Somebody's swapped out here. Shields. Okay, you gotta go back here. You should go back here, and you are good there. Anti-personnel drone. You just keep doing your thing, son. And now I have a ton of scrap. I am prepared for almost anything. I have so much scrap that I feel like I should spend some on something. And I will. <laughs> uh, let's see. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna cheat a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna pull this up on the internet. Okay. Uh, Zoltan Cruiser. All right. Uh, go into the Zoltan Homeworlds. Zoltan ship. You need to listen to, and it will give you a quest mark on the same or next system. Upon arrival at the quest beacon, a rebel ship offers the choice of either attacking or hailing. It choose to hail it, and then say perhaps. There could be a reconciliation of our deals without war, then true progress can be achieved without bloodshed. If they surrender, accepting it doesn't count as setting things peacefully. As soon as they attack, it stops you from being able to get the Zoltan cruiser. If done correctly, they should run away and they should, they, they'll be hailed by the Zoltans. Uh, you'll be hailed by the Zoltans who so will say something about appreciating the way. Hold on a second. Upon arrival of the quest beacon, a rebel ship offers the choice of either attacking or hailing it. Choose to hail it, then say perhaps blah blah blah, and then true progress. Da, da, da. If they surrender, Accepting it doesn't count as settling things peacefully. As soon as they attack, it stops you from being able to get the Zoltan Cruiser. Well, hold on a second. If they surrender, accepting it doesn't count as setting things peacefully. So if. So there's an if there. That's all I got. That's all I need to see. Damn it. Okay. So let's go ahead and, uh, well, I guess I don't need this stuff here. So USS Clencher. I'm so creative. Um, I do want more power. But I need more power to things. I really like this. I really, really like this so much so that I'm gonna get that, get another power bar in here, and I'm gonna get uh, probably a couple more, and then put another in. What? What's another good one? Like I already fully power up all of my weapons. My blasters are fine, although I could probably throw another one in there, but nah, I think it's fine. Um, having the healing boost might be happy. Oh no, okay, I have the rock guys, so the healing boost is actually negligent because. Or negligible because I have such powerful dudes. So I think that's a good start. So now I can power all my weapons. I can put more power into my uh, my cloaking device. This is good. Um, oh, you know what? Maybe one more will be good, actually. That way I can have a defense drone or an anti-personnel or assist and have my breach uh, also armed and ready to go. So let me go ahead and get one more power bar here. There we go. Now we're good. Now I'm totally good. I feel better about myself. Jump. Of course. I am thoroughly prepared to be told that I just did that wrong. But engaging combat, so you did that, but you know, quickly beam. But, all right, I guess it was just, oh, distress. Hmm, so go one, two, three, four. I want to kind of explore all these first. So we'll skip that back one and we'll go forward. I don't want the rebel fleet to get here before I uh, go through this cluster. You arrive at it, ooh, I've, have I seen that shit? Ship before? <laughs> Haven't seen that shit before? Uh, see, so you arrive at a beacon and immediately take the pirate ship. It seems a distress beacon. It was a trap! No problem. I'll give them a second to try to get their lock on, and then I'll be like, see ya, for like a couple seconds. And, uh, I don't need anything else, yeah. And, there we go. Oh, that is beautiful. Get that shot out, get that shot out. I'm gonna go right for the shields. Which I did not do enough damage to. Ouch. Oh, and a whiff. Come on, get that. Get the ion shot off. The heavy laser. Come on, heavy laser! Damn it. Damn it. Of course. Ill-timed. It's okay. Now, I guess with the sensors, one of the benefits there is that I think you could see where power goes, but you can't necessarily see uh, their weapons. Um... I guess their weapon, like, time, timing and everything. Otherwise, if you can see the weapon timing, that would be phenomenal. You imagine that? Like, being able to actually see 
uh, their what they're doing on their ship in terms of like what their uh, see fuel, drone parts, and you know that stuff. We will not accept um, to be able to time every single attack appropriately. That would be awesome. And then that's the end of the Federation bomber. Suck it, bad guys. So much scrap. You're swimming in scrap. I uh, spot a pirate ship looting a small Zoltan cruiser. They spot you and move in and attack before your FPL drive has a chance to. Okay, no problem. No problem. However, they do have uh, two shields. Oh, it's crazy, these guys. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and work on that, and uh, we're gonna go, let's go ahead and use a breach missile as soon as the. Well, I guess it doesn't necessarily matter. So we're gonna fire directly on what? What should I go for? First, uh, let's go ahead and attack that, and then I'll use my saw and there. Okay, and I'll save my heavy laser for when the shield's down. Wait, will the shield go down for off just the thing? Let me go ahead and go invisible here. No, it will not. Okay. So I'll just keep that focused on uh, on there, and the breach will just go right towards the uh, uh right towards the nothing. The dodge is high with this one. Very high. And I can't penetrate this thing enough to do much in terms of... There we go. Okay, good. Good. Now, let's just go and disable that. I don't need the breach missiles every time. Okay, uh, fuel, drone, parts. Nope. Although I'm always hesitant, hesitant on uh, jumping in and just immediately... Um, not uh, not allowing them to surrender because I always worry that I'm gonna get less scrap afterwards, which I'm sure happens. Well, the shields are still relatively disabled, which is good, and that's it. Yeah, easy mode, forty. She got like more fuel out of that deal. Holy crap! Uh, we'll do another jump here. So much scrap. I'm mean, I'm just I should just dump everything into shields and, and all that stuff. Oh, here we go. Put a beacon here. They hail. This is a Zoltan Peace Envoy. We carried no weapons and shielding and rely the mercy of others. Hear them out. We take your signs for interested contemplation. Uh, they talk at length about peace and harmony, but it's either beyond or da, 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 da. Okay. Please spread the word of enlightenment to those that have not. Ah, quest marker. Here we go. Where's the quest? All the way over there. Uh, so I'm going to make a good few solid jumps. Okay, yeah, I'll hit this one. Okay, I'll be fine. The, I don't think the rebel fleet's moving that fast. Uh, these guys have a teleporter, uh, which uh, I'm actually okay with because I have all kinds of really, really great anti-personnel drone, singular. So, and just, just to kind of keep things in check, should I go ahead and? Yeah, I have so many. Let's just go ahead and use that. I want to be untouchable. So here they come. And oh, heavy laser there, weapon system. Actually, I'm heavy laser. Well, I don't think I actually. I don't think I can actually penetrate in heavy laser anything because of their. Uh, this is actually get this loaded up and ready to go. Oh, I can't because I've put power in everything else. Nice. There we go. I should keep him busy for a while. Let me tell you. That defense drone, right? Having that out there, just taking out the... Wow, man, that personnel drone was just... Jesus! Does it need air? Was it dying because of lack of oxygen? I don't think so. But anyways, um... The defense drone was... Uh, was definitely the way that I was able to succeed in the easy... Uh, throughout the easy campaign, which we'll probably end up doing that again, but that was key to my survival. As a matter of fact, my entire... Uh, everything was actually designed around the... Uh, the, the, the drones in general. Alright, these douchebags are like gonna take forever doing this, aren't they? Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to penetrate this way. So let me disable that. Uh, put the, I guess I don't need the antipersonal anyways. And then we're gonna go ahead and drop this right on their shields to permanently disable that. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Here comes a breach missile. Should fire before I'm decloaked. Thank you, it hit. Excellent. 
Let's go and keep that down just in case. Actually, no, they're not getting anything out of that, so. Good. Excellent. This is working perfectly. I'm not gonna get anything else repaired or anything, so we're good. So we are good. This guy is almost dead, actually. Let's go and get him repaired. Get him hooked up. Tons of scrap. God, scrap is ridiculous. Okay, and uh, he is at full. Who is not at full? Get him hooked up there. Sweet. I don't need power of that. And, uh, oh, I have a distress and I have, hmm, I want that store. So let's go and hit up the quest. Now this is where it says, if they surrender. Now my hull needs some work. So when we go to the, the thing next time, let's go ahead and, you know, uh, attempt to hail them. Ooh, okay. I don't know which one's the right answer here. Uh, I can't imagine there's anything you could say that will save you. The rebellion must destroy those that are still loyal to the obsolete federation. One, perhaps there could be a reconciliation of our ideas, uh, without war. Um... Okay. Actually, that's, uh, Surrender. The ultimate destruction is inevitable. Rebellion. Yeah, that's the only one that actually makes the most sense. Uh... My piece of your ideals elsewhere. Okay. Mmm... Suddenly, all indications of the rebel ship fade away and a Zoltan fleet appears around your ship. The captain of the ship you met previously materializes on your bridge. Although your methods are crude and most certainly ineffective, it is clear you took our previous meeting to heart. If your ship represents the Federation's willingness to adapt, we shall do what you can, uh, what we can to aid in their flights. Uh, I got a fire beam, I have scrap, and I have a Zoltan cruiser. Yes. I'm doing the, the success kid fist pump right now. Yes. <laughs> Damn. And on top of that, I'm rich! Look at all that scrap! I have- I, I don't even know what to do anymore. I have so much stuff. Uh, let's see, what does this guy have? Um, he has a beam, just repair, hull repair. Mm, at the cost of three to five damage to your hull at the cost of... I know in the final encounter that could come in handy occasionally, but it's not that handy. Like, it's honestly not that handy. Um... How much is that fire beam worth? I <laughs> uh, see. Room per hit. Terrifying beam. Yeah, we'll keep the beam. I don't know if I'll swap the beam out for the... <sighs> I wish I could get another ion cannon because the ion beams are just so damn good for disabling things. Anyways, uh, this is basically just setting fire to things. So, I'm guessing if we get sensors... I don't want to get a crew teleporter. I'll repair. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I said that before I actually knew what I was gonna do. Um, I don't want to waste money on on these two things because they're not they're not. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. You know what? F it. Right. If I die, then I'll just start over, and I'll pick somebody else from the comments or actually from Twitter. I have a I have a I want to put Shizzle and uh, Squishy and and Brandon Wolf and all those guys on board so I could kill them. Um, that sounds very appealing to me. Uh, let's see. Yeah, nothing else. So I'm gonna go ship. And then I have obviously lots of stuff I need to put points in now, right? Damn it. Ah, uh, sensors. See enemy interior, see enemy power use. So, yeah, enemy interior will be nice. So I definitely need that. We'll accept. Uh, that's good. Then, uh... I guess it is kind of nice that I can see all of my interior, although up to this point it hasn't really been damaging because the second they go to bust through a, a wall or a door, it's like, okay, that's clearly the room they're in, so it's fine. Uh, I do want to put some more points in shields, though, because that saved my ass last time. I don't have enough to unlock two. do have enough to unlock two here, though, but having two here is just, yeah, I mean, damn. Oh, damn. We'll leave the crew teleporter at minimum. And uh, we'll just save the scrap. We're getting so much scrap, we'll just save it. Uh, we don't need to spend all our money in one place. And then we're going to go to the exit. I got a Zoltan cruiser. Damn. And just in time to wrap this up. Oh, what is this? Uh, 
Sell 12 drone 48 scrap. Yeah, I'm not using that many drone parts. So yeah, I'll sell it. Can I make it back to the other <laughs> thing to buy some more stuff? Uh, I don't think I can. No, 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 it's already consumed. So yeah, let's go to the ship. And then here I'll go ahead and uh, I'll go and upgrade my shields, which I actually wanted to do to begin with. Um, and then the next large bit of scrap that I pick up will actually go towards the, I should put that there now. And yeah, I think I'm, I'm doing good. This is all really good. I have enough to even throw into my anti-personnel awesome guy. Um, I did consume a defense drone on the last one, but that's fine because at the rate that I'm, uh, I'm consuming them, it's actually not that big of a deal. So this is great. We're doing next sector, uh, Zoltan control sector. Don't have a choice, right? Yeah, that's right. We, uh, we actually literally don't have a choice because, um, we are, wait, really? I don't have a choice. Okay. I'm getting worried. Because uh, your far footage home space here in Zoltan territory, it's not clear whether the authorities have any goodwill remaining. Blah, 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 blah. But yes, I'm going to go ahead and uh, we'll stop here. And then I'm going to go and get something set up probably over the weekend to get you guys some more coming this Monday. Thank you very much for watching FTL F Day. My name is Mike B.A.K. Phony. I got a Zoltan Cruiser, baby. Isn't that one of the dick ships, actually? Yes.